Yeah, I mean, like being clubbed, like being clubbed unconscious. It's not like in movies where you just, you know, whoop, you know, you fall over and then you get back up. That's dang, that that'll hurt, that can hurt you. Yeah. A bit. Somebody laid it out to me. Just being unconscious for more than a couple minutes is super bad for you. Well, it's not the unconsciousness that's bad. It's just that anything that can put you out, any, if something puts you out, then that's a bad sign. Yeah. Whoop. Here we are at night now. Look at that moonlight. Um, I'm wondering, were those god rays, or...? I'm not sure if, what the term is, yeah, if that's... Well done, it's some sort of volumetric thing, right? Oh, it's a, yeah, lighting effect. Um, I'm pretty sure it's unreal. Oh, that's in a lot of engines. This one, this yeah. The royal position is brilliant. But he was a fool to All protect right. the beast. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the warm It could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with us. You have my thanks, Sokolov. If oh. you wish to get some sleep, now is the time. I thought we already were a great nation. I mean, we're this whole big ass empire. Yeah. That sounds good, or I'd like to wind down first and say goodnight to Emily. Not sure why it's taken this long for me to pick. I'm wondering if this, choices. I'm wondering if this was. Yeah, saying goodnight to Emily is the renegade option. Actually, so yes. this might have actually just been a real life bathroom break. <laughs> So, uh, oh, there we go. It's getting really awkward to have like the stream. He's like, why isn't he saying anything? So, so do you want to go to sleep or, you know, say goodnight to you? Corvo is just not furrowing not. his brow in intense concentration. Ooh, a bone charm. Donations in lieu of flowers can be sent to the Golden Cat. <laughs> Corvo? Oh, yes. Can I tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the door. If. It's a abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't mm. think anyone else here knows about it. But I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my desk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I am. This may come up again. Spoiler warning. She's overly paranoid in a conspiracy to overthrow a government. <laughs> well, let's see what Pendleton has to say. Well, of course. Third by virtue of some frequent weather. It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle lady had posted three nights in Maryland by invitational. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine for me thus. In fact, I had come laden with such that all three Boyle women soon took notice, and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Bounty's interrupted. The, 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 Bo the Boyle women, you know, loom very large in the Pendleton's lives. Yes. And we may actually may be meeting some of them before too long. start the interrogation Royal position is badly shaken up. I'll have the servants see to his new quarters. 
Take a night's rest, and then you can help me carry this thing. Where do I find a good meal around here? If you think prison food's bad, you should see what the Abbey serves its captives. I think the overseers make it themselves. Ah, uh, yes. Or extra hatred. Or, uh, oil pain or something. Okay. <coughs> Havelock Log, Entry 4. <coughs> he is returning now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo project lethal force, he can do an extraction that I didn't think possible. And soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here. Together, if we could get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions towards one another before following that line of thought. Get ready to unmute. Ready? Yep. And go. So yeah, Havelock's pretty impressed. Hmm. That'd be difficult not to be, though. Maybe... <coughs> Maybe Piero can impress Sokolov with some of those b golden cat blueprints you talked about. Oh yes, I'm sure he'd be very interested. The Pendleton votes. Basically, it says that uh, Parliament is cutting off, uh, is you know, losing the uh, Pendleton support in Parliament. It's hurting the Lord Regent, and he seems to be getting funding from some other unknown source to keep paying his troops. Must be frustrating, like Lydia or whoever it is, like keeps restocking these shelves every t night, and they're just gone instantly. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's the key. I wonder how he sleeps in a bed. Who? Corvo. He just must have to. Oh yeah. He he, he must be wearing his his special valueless gloves at all the t at all times, I guess, to prevent it from transmuting into coins. So given that the U.S. government has an actual dollar value on human life, do you think if Corvo exists... I thought that was insurance in companies. Or maybe it's both. Anyway, you're saying? Uh, do you think that if Corvo existed in modern times, he could just touch people and they would turn into their net worth? That's an interesting question. Maybe they'd turn into, like, bearer bonds or something. Hmm. I don't know why bear bonds. It just um, that just seems more amusing to me than cash. <laughs> just exploding into just dollars or just bonds. No, into pennies. So it's really inconvenient. <laughs> just like this is this massive tidal wave of pennies just erupts. The dollar, the dollar worth is less than the net value of all this copper. <laughs> Sewer. However, did she acquire uh, this lovely home? I think. I don't know. I think it was just abandoned. She just commandeered it. Who abandoned this place? Twist of fortune. Very rarely a potion gives you full mana. Oh, I have six runes also. Oh. Overall movement speed is increased. Okay. Dark vision level two. Now I can it all in addition to showing me, you know, bodies and whatever, it also shows me like uh, items I can pick up. And it shows me uh like wiring for uh things like walls of light and oh. other devices. So I can turn it on, I can like see like the uh like the line from the wall like from a wall of light or a t or a you know, Tesla coil thing, like, to its power supply and, like, you know, to the panel that I can use to rewire it. Stuff like that. Neat. And also, yeah, see those blue things? Those were the, uh, audiographs. Like, stuff you can interact with appears, basically.
Now to go up and visit Emily. Maybe I should at least wipe the blood off my big ass sword first, but probably. You know, it would be pretty inconvenient to traverse this whole place if you didn't have these magic teleport powers. It would be it would be kind of tiring after a while. I go around on all these walkways. It used to be as quiet as a <laughs> It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor you. It's okay, Emily. I'm here. She seems happy. Maybe if you got her a blanket or a pillow no, or. Have important things to do. Well, there's no I just just thought. <laughs> give her maybe give her some pajamas instead of just having wear having her wear her formal formal clothes in bed. We talked before about the lack of comfortable beds in uh what no team here. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a fork. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners. To oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates, instead of a cloth napkin, I've only the bar rack, ale mugs, instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretender using paper and an old thing she's found here. Ah, yes, pretend dinner. Super nourishing. <laughs> Please, take me to Santa for me. I, it's dark in here, and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. There is four, though. Mm. She's even wearing she shoes to bed. Yeah. Though it's understandable. I know. Well, like I said, you'll get, get her some pajamas or something. Jeez. She called out your name. Sometimes There's a I pillow know. right there. Little Emily. Someday soon an empress. But only an exhausted child would dream it. No! Mother, run! No! Google, run! You girl. Yeah, I mean, it is super hard so to program characters under sheets. I hate to say is it? it why is that? Is it just like the, the physics don't are yeah. tricky to have like a sheet type object? Like yeah. Just Wait, so oh. Black. Remember who has black eyes? Mm. The outsider. She's dreaming of him too. I'll stay right here, by her side all night. Oh, <sighs> oh, please. Is she just say that because you're jumping around? I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure. But yeah, I've, I've actually only ever seen... Must you? <laughs> well, I am just kind of clattering around noisily. It's hard enough for Emily to sleep, you know, being... You know, wearing her sh You know, being fully clothed, shoes and all. Sleeping on top of what appears to be like a tightly made motel bed. Can you fire your pistol in her room? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if you can... I don't think it really lets you use your stuff. That's too bad. Yeah, but, uh... Ah, so, ooh, someone, left a, someone left a coin. In the only games I can recall people sleeping under the covers uh, legitimately are um, Way of the Samurai okay. and <gasps> Deadly Premonition. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Clarissa was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Has somebody washed your clothes? Mine or hers? Hers. Thanks, and yours, I suppose. Yeah, I, I, you'd think I would need it after, like, like, killing all these dudes at close quarters. I mean, like, I know copper is the currency of, you know, of Dunwall, but, like, people are gonna notice if you're just covered in blood and smelling of, you know, death. Maybe the blood transmutes into money as well? Maybe. It's literal blood money. <laughs> oh, that was the best Hitman game. All right. She's, she's, there's Lydia. 
Oh, remember how? Remember my jokes earlier about Piero being kind of a pervert? Yeah. Those weren't jokes. That that was just that was just simple objective fact, as you're about to see. <laughs> 